so you can't analyze it. You can just observe it. Um, and so the whole literature about Stravinsky has grown up in which this particular piece is taken as the first moment piece. Stravinsky had strange hands. Uh, he was barely five feet tall, but he had enormous hands. They had an influence on his music. Stravinsky wrote everything he composed at the piano. But it's this spacing, and you find it in piece after piece by Stravinsky. Alleluia. They're widely spaced across the piece, so you see it repeats from beginning to end. So you have certain long sections which cohere, and others which punctuate. I think of this composition as a kind of enacted religious service, a kind of enacted ritual of farewell to Claude Debussy. And when you listen to it that way, it's so much more concrete and the musical details are much more uh, significant, it seems to me, than if you're simply hearing it as a bunch of musical moments. <laughs> ¶¶